Just had this little bit of lead, ladies and gents. Looks like a little game encounter. What do you reckon? I don't think it's a plumb bob or anything. It's not heavy. Well, it's not that heavy. It's very small. Might be a game encounter. Might be a plumb bob, but let me know what you think. Ladies and gents, just a 43, and I think this is part of a brooch. Or it could be uh, armed to a pin, but I think it's part of a brooch. It's too big for a pin, so what do you think? Something like a cruciform brooch. I'll have to look at it when I get home, but look at the profile. There's a little rivet there or something like that, but that looks very, very interesting to me. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, just had this signal. See it just there? Just there. Some kind of fork or spoon. Let's get it out. Bear with me. It's a fork. There you go. It's got some all marks there. See if we can find what they are later. But for now, nice spoon, uh, nice fork. At last, ladies and gents, I've uh, found something decent, and it's a Roman brooch. Still in multi three at the moment. It's a very quiet multi three, but yeah, it's a Roman brooch. Clearly see that. I'll have to look up the style when I get home, but I think it's the first one I've ever had of this style. But that's beautiful. But yeah, like I say, Multi-3 is very quiet, so I don't know how many signals I'm missing. Uh, it worries me when I can't hear much. Um, but yeah, it's not missed that at all. Beautiful. Just had a 40, ladies and gents, in the 40 kilohertz on the Nocta Legend, and it's a nice spindle wall. No pattern on it. Just a nice shaped spindle wall. Probably medieval. I have had a York hammered coin from this bit, so. Uh, might all be interlinked. So I'll search this area for a little bit. Ladies and gents, just had this at 25 on the Nocta Legend. And I think it's a Saxon brooch. Again, probably cruciform. Just by the shape of it, so. Very, very nice. Still in 40 kilohertz. Uh, no, I'm not. I've gone back to multi two now. So try and keep up, guys, because I am experimenting with the frequencies today. But that was in multi two. So happy with that. And ladies and gents, just had a 33. Looks like a coin. Looks a bit odd shaped for a coin, but it looks like one. Anyway. Who's that? It's got holes in it. Hmm. It's a bit odd. It's got holes in it. I'll come back to you on that. It's a bit odd, ladies and gents. I don't know if it was a coin to start with. It's probably been made for whatever purpose this serves. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's a watering can end, but I could be wrong. What do you think? Let me know. Ladies and gents, just got a 43 on the Nocta Legend. It's a milled coin. Not sure if there's anything on it. Not a lot. Probably Georgian. Victorians are a lot smoother than that, so 
it's probably Georgian, George III, I reckon. So I put it in the 1800s. On to the next. And ladies and gents, I just had this. Looks like a piece of medieval fitting of some kind. But I've um, I started multi two, but I've changed uh, to multi three because it says on the settings guide, multi three when it's really wet like it is today will stop falsing of the machine in wet conditions and damp soil, but will also eliminate coke. And I have tested that coke, and I found a bit of coke earlier. Ran over it in multi two, clear as day. Multi three, hardly a beep. So. It will cut out coke, but it might cut out other signals as well. So just be careful on that. But we're going to give it a go anyway. And these really, really wet conditions is tipping it down here in Norfolk. Ladies and gents, just switched to 30, uh, 40 kilohertz. <laughs> Switching it up a bit today. Like I say, I wasn't happy with uh, how quiet that other uh, Multi 3 was. But it paid off because I think... Hmm, I'm not sure what this is actually. I thought it was a Roman, but looks to be snapped off there on the end there so I'm not sure what that is that's a cut was a 30 so I'll clean it up if there's anything uh, decent I'll let you know set the 1920 on the knock to legend in 40 kilohertz and it's just a little button probably 1700s I would have thought but we'll check when we get home so this little buckle, ladies and gents, probably 1400s in date. This little medieval buckle. It's rusted in the middle where the uh, catch is, but still nice. 40 kilohertz, homing in on them little tiny thin pieces of metal. Ladies and gents, this came up as a 38, I think, on the legend in multi two. That's a Victoria penny late 1800s I can't get a date off it but you can see her on that side so very nice not sure how many more holes I'll dig so uh, we'll see just had this little uh, strap end or something like that it's got sort of pins on the back where it would have been attached to leather a tiny little one but in a strap end there's something to do with a, a leather mount or something but it might be a small strap end you know there you go just had a three pence at 38 on the legend George the sixth 1943 